we gotta play this clip please just gotta play this clip um <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do <laughs> see sucking up already. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Suck him up already, you know. You guys are fucking evil. Anyway, <laughs> suck him up already. Come on, man. Hurry up. He's gonna bust. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, 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 let's go. Not be silly, not be silly. So cracking on. Um this clip is fucking amazing. This clip is fucking amazing, right? Because I'm not too sure where I stand on this. I'm not too sure where I stand on this, right? Let me give you the like, let me give you the fucking overview. There's a group of people on the subreddit, the TPAC K subreddit, who believe that Brendan will sometimes book people for the Calabasas fight companion knowing full well they're not going to come so he'll use their name and their likeness for promo on the flyer and to get people to be anticipate you know to look forward to the fucking thing and tune in but then he knows they're not going to arrive and because the industry is the way it is I guess it's like an unspoken rule that no one really minds what you do to get eyes on your shit because it's so hard to compete out there so no one really complains so that's what some of them think because a lot of the times that Brendan does with Calabasas fight companions a lot of the guests maybe one maybe two will cancel last minute and it seems to happen all the time and some people have surmised that he probably does pay people to come so they you know they're clearly turning it down because they don't want to be on there even with the incentive of money I'm not too sure on that I just don't know if that's true I have a feeling because LA is full of people you know full of jokers I think personally that people just flake because LA is full of people that flake I think I have a feeling that if I spoke to somebody even somebody who wasn't involved in the entertainment industry they would tell me just in general that you know to make friends in LA is pretty difficult and generally you know to to make appointments and to hang out with people is hard because everybody's kind of looking for the next best thing similar to London London's the same sort of vibe here here in London the same sort of vibe in whatever scene you're in everybody's a little bit like you know everybody's clicked up and if you try to you know infiltrate into a friendship group or try to meet people outside of where they want to be in the cool place it's kind of hard to do so so i'm not too sure where i stand is brendan booking these people knowing they're not going to turn up or are he booking them and they're agreeing and then they're flicking him last minute who knows but anyway this clip is taken from the find the kids subreddit and it's called emergency at the crib and it features brendan at the beginning of the recent fight companion explaining why um cheeto vera um from the ufc wasn't able to turn up to the fight companion because he was meant to be there it was meant to be cheeto bradley martin and that ben davis kid but he didn't show up so brendan's trying to explain why he didn't show up and then there's a clip at the end that kind of you know disputes what brendan said let's play the clip cheeto's not here cheeto had an emergency at the crib he i don't give too much away but it was an issue he would have got here late i'm like dude be with your family <laughs> So, as you can see, Brendan said there's a merger at the crib. And then later on that day, Cheeto uploaded a picture of him and his partner riding on an e-bike or an e-scooter somewhere in their neighborhood having a fucking blast in the sunny weather, him whistling, having a whale of a time. So what do you think happened? Do you think Cheeto agreed to come on the fucking Fight Companion? Or did he lie to Brendan about his emergency at home? Like, what's going on here? I'm not too sure because this is fucked up because when you have a regular job, especially nowadays in the age of social media, the first rule of having a regular job, when you call in sick, never post on social. If you call in sick at work, you go ghost on all your social media platforms. You don't like anything. You don't post on your Instagram stories. You just browse. You don't like anything. You don't comment. You do nothing. You don't retweet. So it's interesting that he would cancel on brendan because of the family emergency but then he's on an e-scooter e-bike with his partner missus having a great time in the afternoon enjoying the sunny weather what do you think happened here um the sunny weather <laughs> if you were saying, exactly <laughs> it's a piece of my accent thank you social media fucked up his lie yeah exactly everyone clan sure i don't know what happened i'm not too sure what i can say i'm not too sure what i believe 
But I have a feeling because it's LA, I, I think Cheeto might live near LA, I guess, because that's how he's doing the show. I've got a feeling he's also contaminated that virus where you just flake on people when you, when you can't bother to go. So I think most likely he just flaked and just changed his mind. But I don't think Brendan lied about it. That's my honest opinion on it. Shub can't tell the truth about anything. Okay, cool. People are saying he's not really emergency involved posting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, he's he's doing special needs. Okay, cool. So maybe he did have an issue at the time, but then things changed and then he went then he went out. Maybe. I don't know. I just think it's a bit poor taste, really, isn't it? If you did promise to do something with somebody, um, and then you cancel, but then you post on social media like you're having the best time of your life, it's just a little bit poor taste. That's the only thing I'd say. It's the only issue I'd have with it. But you know, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> i just find it wild how many times he's lied about this shit no nah, he lied he probably mentioned it to him but he knew he wasn't going to come okay dem doids do says that sure can't tell the truth okay cool i'm curious yeah i don't know i'm what was that thief keith says i'm curious why Shub even mentions that people have cancelled what is there for him to gain for not delivering yet yeah, me too i don't know I've, I've said this before myself i don't even know why he mentions it if they do cancel i don't know why he goes out of his way to mention the guests just let them come be special guests if they arrive they arrive but have like a solid base of a crew like my i personally think it should always be brendan and that ben davis kid it should be a permanent guest um or the permanent sorry host on the calabasas fight companion and then have it be special guest you know all the time and it rotates all the time that would be pretty cool to see that and it'll be like a surprise on the day and then if they don't appear you just pretend like they it was just going to be you 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 and the other guy but you know i don't know maybe brendan's a bit strange or maybe he doesn't think that ben guy is cool enough to hang out with him by himself i don't know it's strange but who knows 